Lord. Good Lord. Yeah. So, it says here, folks, that report claims Disney's The Little Mermaid posting dismal ticket pre-sales in China. 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 And you know why it matters? Because they're one of the biggest economies in the world. That's why we want our movies to do great over there. It's the reason why we'll push certain propaganda here. And then when we go over there, we'll minimize it or take it out. Just so they, they consume it. Yeah. Brave, stunning and brave here. But then nowhere to be seen over there. <laughs> Yo. Four G's. Listen to this. Online entertainment commentator claimed on Sunday that Disney's live-action remake of The Little Mermaid is struggling to attract interest in communist China before Friday's opening. Uh, Pre-sales of Little Mermaid's tickets began on Friday at China's box office, but it seems that it will be an uphill push to get anyone interested in what is potentially the biggest market in the world. See? China notoriously disadvantages Hollywood movies and its theaters, instead pressuring audiences to spend their money on homemade patriotic communist propaganda on the supposed greatest uh, greatness of Chinese Communist Party and the People's uh, Liberation Army. This has not stopped major entertainment companies in America from prominent uh, and prominently Disney from attempting to court the Chinese market, often to disappointing results. Entertainment commentator Luis Fernando, well known for offering general box office reports, claimed on Sunday that only $4,000 in pre-sales were sold for The Little Mermaid Friday for their entire period of May 25th through 28th, which amounts to a disastrous opening week next week if things don't improve. It says here, Meanwhile, in China's box office ticket pre-sales for Little Mermaid show no signs of reaction. Disney Live Action finished Sunday with a scary 13K uh, total for uh, after three days of pre-sales for the whole May 25th to 28th period. Could be the worst opening ever for a Hollywood temple in China. Here's the thing. Are you surprised? I mean, look. Uh, China, from what I've noticed over the past few years, being a YouTuber, has a particular relationship with black people. And posters and promotional material and stuff has to be changed if you're gonna have black folk in your movie and put it over there. So, you know they know who The Little Mermaid is. The Little Mermaid is very popular worldwide. People know who The Little Mermaid is. And then you switched, you, you race swapped <laughs> The Little Mermaid and you're gonna send it over to China. Why even send it there? I mean, people in America didn't want you to race swap the girl. People wanted you to keep her as she was when y'all grew up with her. That's it. That's what the main thing is with people anyway. The racists are a very minor part. Over here. <laughs> over here. The majority of people over here just don't want their characters changed. Okay. If they were black when they were growing up, don't switch them to, to white. If they were white when you're growing up, don't switch them to black. If they were Asian when you're growing up, don't switch them to American. Whatever it is, don't do don't do it. Stop changing the characters. Stop changing their sexuality, their race, uh, all, all this stuff. Changing so much stuff to beloved characters by people. And you're expecting to make money, which 
we know is not going to happen. It hasn't been happening. This was a Bud Light decision. We're going to start saying that. I'm going to say start saying all these types of decisions are Bud Light decisions, considering what Bud Light is going through right now. People, uh, these companies are acting like they don't know their demographic. They know what their demographic is. They're trying to push new stuff that they know their demographic doesn't like. So, like I said, I think it's just a, a, a big old uh, sociological study or something on human beings and behavior because there's no way these companies would continue to keep doing this, keep pushing stuff over and over and over and over again, especially Disney. Lose the billions of dollars, lose the millions of subscribers on their, you know, like, Hey, Disney, you know, I've been rocking with you for years. Uh, done several things with y'all in the past for Marvel and stuff. And you guys you know I love you guys, but you know this ain't working. Switch back to what was making you the money. Switch back to what made a Disney movie an event for everyone worldwide every time something was released. You know what I mean? You know, Marvel and Star Wars, they were all events. And now people don't know what the hell they're going to get when they go to the theater. <sighs> so, uh, yeah. It says a live action remake. Titular character is played by our main singer and actress Halle Bailey. Casting a black actress as Ariel may have potentially, <laughs> may have, right, may have potentially alienated the Chinese Communist Party. A genocidal tyranny notorious for anti-black racism. From banning black people from restaurants and hotels. I saw some clips like that. Uh, excuse me. In 2020, in response to the Wuhan coronavirus. Yeah. To producing uh, racist viral social media videos of African children unknowingly insulting themselves in Mandarin. Oh boy. I know that about that. In the movie industry, Chinese promotional material for Hollywood films has notoriously attracted accusations of black anti-black racism, most prominently in 2015 when Star Wars The Force Awakens released a poster that relegated major character Finn, played by black actor John Boyega, to the far background of the image, as the Independent noted, the character's the character of Finn was even smaller than the droid BB-8 on the Chinese poster. Good Lord. And that he is. Uh -huh. uh, the Chinese state propaganda newspaper Global Times claimed in 2019 when Disney announced the Bailey's casting uh, in The Little Mermaid, the movie shocked Chinese viewers. <laughs> Unfortunately, it seems that Chinese audiences aren't buying into the casting decision. Mm, uh, uh, uh. Well, neither are Americans. Uh, I assume you're course correcting Disney. Let's turn the wheel. Let's turn the wheel. Boy, uh, post comments down below. Let me know what you think about this. If you enjoyed my thoughts on this situation, make sure you hit the like button, subscribe, and share. 10 million subscribers. Whoa.